we're talking about the commitment to the journey. And I was just saying to everybody, whether you're brand new to your journey or you're, you know, you've been in this journey for months, we can always take away things that sort of revitalize us, refresh us, reset us. But, right. you know, thinking back to when you started your ketogenic journey, like how did you decide to go? I, I guess basically, how did you go all in? How did you commit to this journey? Well, I mean, I had to. Um, I was not well, and I, I was um, struggling. I had hired doctors all over the world to kind of figure what was wrong with me. I was in my 20s and lost use of my leg. I had my head hit in. I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder. And so basically at one point I said, I got to take control of my own life. And I decided to clean the slate and start with a fast. And then from there, I, I found the ketogenic diet, right? I kind of created it for myself. I didn't, didn't have the real awareness of how to do that back then. And, um, but what I knew I had to do, and I think the most important tip, if you're going to get on this journey is I had to commit to the journey. I gave myself an entire year to figure it out. It wasn't like I was going to try it for a year. I was going to, I was going to, I was going to learn it. And, and, and over the last 20 years now, people that are, you know, starting a new lifestyle, if it's vegan, if it's keto or whatever, it might be carnivore. I tell people, give yourself at least six months of messing up because you're going to make mistakes or things aren't going to work. But what happens is somebody, you know, they, they make, they, they, don't, they don't feel good for a week. And then they say, well, that doesn't work for me. And they, they switch gears. And, and I think that's a big mistake. Um, I always tell people, if you're trying to get from LA to New York, you're taking an airplane. The last thing you want to do is go down to, to, to Florida, jump over to Pensacola, go to Miami, go up to Atlanta, back to LA. Then before you get, to, you want to just take a straight trip there. And you'd rather deviate a little off than turning all the way to the right. And then too many people do that. They go, I'm, I'm keto and then I'm, I'm this. And then I'm over here and I'm doing this. To stay on the path and know that you're going to have to wiggle a little bit to get there. With the right yeah, there's a huge learning process along the way, isn't right. it? Like, and that's what I see in this group all the time. There's so many right. people asking the questions like, where do I start? How much fat? What are the macros, right? And you, you don't know what you don't know when you come into the space. I was like you, right? It took me a while to probably fully get into ketosis. Right. But for me, it was more about just starting and starting to eliminate some of those bad habits I think you're exactly right. You know, like I want to change in a week, right. but yet it took me 40 years to get where I was, right? So, I mean, God, I don't want it to take another 40 and it doesn't need to, right. but I think, you know, there's some real benefits of being in this group. And, and I know you're a big advocate of like, you know, creating a community, what we're trying to do here right. as well. well I, think, I think it's the most important thing. Um, I think that you, you know, life gets complicated. You know, your, your wife, my wife is not a, a low carb keto person. Um, she, 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 does, she does it from time to time. So it's like that environment for, if, if, and, and for me, carbs really affect me a lot. And for her, they don't affect her that much. And I don't expect her to live my lifestyle. I want her to live hers, but I want her to respect mine. And that's just through communication, but it's another thing. But having these groups is a way for me to feel like I'm part of something that her and I don't have in common, which is fine. We have a lot of other things in common. And so, um, so yeah, I think being part of this group is really important. Committing to your journey, knowing it's going to take time. The, the rule of thumb a lot of people make is like, however long it took you to get to where you are. So if you're 40 and you've been struggling with some health things since 40, expect 40 months, right? Now, truth is, is you're going to feel way better before that. But that expectation is often a, a, a mess up for people. And, and if we can help them with that um, and know that you're, it's a journey. Um, we, we, you and I talked earlier about something. You're like, I didn't know that that could be a factor. Just that little tip, you know, because we're working together might change everything in your, in your journey. Right. And in, it had nothing to do with your diet, right. Necessarily. It had to be something else. So, and those are all important to get through an environment coaching. Yeah. And I think something else for everybody to remember as well is like committing to the journey doesn't mean you're not going to have really bad days. Doesn't mean that you're not going to make mistakes as well. Right. Like, right. I think the most success that I've seen with people that have sort of trained and coached along the way is it's okay to make those mistakes, but then how do you, any tips on sort of like the mindset of when you do make those mistakes with, you know, the ultimate destination way, way, yeah. way, way, way in the future. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we got, we can talk for days on this one. Uh, it's so good. If you have questions, put them in the chat. I actually had to pull up my phone, other phone to see if there's questions that pop up so I can help out. Um, 
I think the first thing is, is, you know, we think of Star, Star Wars, it's like, aha, do be expected. I think the first step you have to keep in mind is if you're starting any journey, it's never going to be a perfect straight line. There's always going to be setbacks. But that's in everything. Think about relationships. You fall in love. So people start the keto diet. First few days, they may feel like crap. After a couple of weeks, they start feeling better. A lot of times they're feeling better because they're proud of themselves. They're proud they're committed to it. If they, it. Even if they feel better and they're failing or messing up on the diet, now they they feel worse because it's not because of the diet is because they're not they're disappointed in themselves, right? So I think the first thing is you got to have gratitude and be grateful that you're doing it. Um, the second thing is is to expect complications. You're gonna have days where you're just like, I slept horrible last night. Do not jump off and think that what you did two days ago or the next the day before was the problem. It could have been five days ago that could have been the reaction to this. And these are things that people mess up. I, I work with a lot of autoimmunity and, and with autoimmune systems that are out of whack. And it's like, you can eat something on Friday and it bothers you on Tuesday. It's called a delayed reaction. But you, it, you, it's hard to quantify that. What you can do is take awareness, right? And so I think it's to be expected that things are gonna go on. And, and that's in everything in our life. It's relationships, it's career, it's jobs. Your, your job could be great for, one, for, for three months and then you get to hire somebody new. You have like three bad days because the relationship isn't there yet. And, and it doesn't mean your job's bad. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means that, that you have to now work through that and learn from it. And these are the best lessons to learn. You learn through the challenges, not through all the successes. You, I mean, you learn through both, but you learn a lot more through the challenges. Yeah, I love that. And we were on a, like a coaching call today. And I think the whole idea, once again, is that we, we talked about it this morning as well, is that experiment of oneself, N equals one, right? So what works for somebody else might not necessarily work for you as an individual or you know somebody else's goal is somebody else's goal it's totally different for us right like my goal might be to lose 20 pounds yours might be to have that you know that that cognitive improvement somebody else might be trying to cure gut health and stuff so you know staying in your own lane is so important but staying in your lane with that power of community like you talked about as well yeah it's, it's 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 just it's too important that's why it's a journey um my journey took about five truly five years to get where i am you know where i feel very confident my buddy hit me he's a former marine like i am and and he goes he's hit me on all this stuff he's like you know anything about grounding and i'm like yeah I've been, i read the book when it came out you know whatever in 2009 all this stuff and, and um and he's searching for this idea of how to feel good when he gets older or how to defy aging and all this other stuff. And he's in this searching and that's okay. That's a, that's a phase he's in. And, and I just, I said to him, I'm like, I kind of figured out, like, I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward, but I didn't always feel that way. And as you build confidence in your journey and, and I always tell people when you're starting right now today will not be how your journey is next year. Expect it to change instead of this, people go, well, I'm starting a lifestyle. No, you create a lifestyle. It's very different. You're starting this keto journey or this low carb journey, and you may not end up full blown keto. You might, or full blown low carb. You might find that it's a hybrid that you ultimately end up with. I have a guy that he's 52 now, and he's running marathons and doing CrossFit. Well, he doesn't follow the diet that helped him lose 50 pounds. It's, it's, it's he's, in a, he's in a whole different world today, but that was an evolution of time. It took him six years to, to grow into this new person. And now he's very much more confident and he doesn't stress about food, what to eat, when to eat it. He just lives his life. And, um, and that's the goal. That's our mission. It's not to get results. It's how do you live your life once you achieve your results. And how do you go out and impact more people is really the, the mission here. Yeah. yeah. And I think something that we haven't really talked about, and maybe we need to talk about this, Dustin, is metabolic flexibility ultimately, right? Like the ketogenic lifestyle is amazing and it can get really, really great results. But later on, potentially, when that metabolic flexibility kicks in, maybe moving to a lower carb diet or, you know, a cyclical ketogenic diet can be what's best as well, right? So that experimentation of oneself, learning what you can and can't do, the power of a community, and then hopefully, hopefully, the knowledge of somebody else. And, and that's what we're trying to do here, right, right? Is, is pass on more knowledge to everybody. And, uh, right. Yeah, I'm just grateful because I like, guys, I learned something. I'm struggling at the moment. I live in Mexico. I think I have a parasite in my tummy and Dustin coached me on something totally new this morning, which I did not know about at all. And I will share it once I've tested it myself, but I'm really looking forward to it. So um, Dustin, any final words? Because I, I like to keep these nice and short and sharp. Yeah, my 
final word is this, is that what, what I don't want to happen is we know scientifically that elevating your ketone levels is unbelievable. I'm working with a family that they have a, a, an older mom who's cognitively slowing down and they're like, how can we help her? And, and, and she's not following a ketogenic diet. We're using different tools and ways to elevate her ketones because she's not able to follow a ketogenic diet, right? And it's complicated in their, in their situation. So we're elevating her ketones in another way. And, and I just want people to know that ketones are important for health and vitality and performance of your life. The diet, a diet is what you create to, to sustain and enjoy your life. And I just don't want people to go, I tried that and it didn't work for me. Because the science is clear, ketones work <laughs> and extremely well. The, what didn't work is the complexity of it all. So sometimes we have different resources and you and I will talk in the future about other ways to help get ketone levels elevated. And I would just say this, um, please share this group with other people if you wanna get them educated um, and do this with your friends. The other thing is, is go grab our free cookbook. We're gonna be doing some additional coaching, some private coaching that you're gonna get access to. Um, so once you grab our cookbook, we're gonna give you some, we're gonna communicate through some emails and stuff. Um, and you can get that on the page of Liam, probably can tell you how to find it. Um, but get that so we can do some additional coaching like Liam got today for me, and just different perspectives, different ways to, to heal the body in a healthy way, in a healthy manner. Cause I have some unique backgrounds. I, I specialize in abdominal surgeries. I specialize in hormones after we get to a certain age, children, development of children, and of course the aging population and brain health um, along with the ketogenic space. So anything we can do to health. And I like athletes too, but I don't work with as many of those anymore. And just to give everybody a little heads up. So basically we're doing the five steps to introducing ketones. And number one is you got to commit to your journey. Um, we're gonna, tomorrow we're gonna talk about cutting carbs, understanding protein and how much protein should have and then don't fear fat and then hydration as the end. So that's kind of the five days of getting started onto it, but we're going to do one each day for you guys. So we're super excited for that.